Two Men, One Message. Let's just talk about how this book actually got started. Mr. Trump, can you tell me why you suggested writing this book together? Well, I've been a big fan of Robert's and of Rich Dad for so long. I've seen it. I've read it. Everybody I know has read it. And he's just a very special man who I wanted to do something with. And we were making a speech together. And I listened to a speech. I liked it. He listened to my speech. I assume he liked it. You'd have to ask him, but I assume he liked it. And one day, after one of our speeches in front of a tremendous crowd of people, 61,500 people, he came up to me and he said, we ought to do something together. And I've had lots of number one bestsellers, and he's had lots of number one bestsellers, and we're just putting it all together. Mr. Kiyosaki, how did you feel when Mr. Trump asked you to write this book with him? Well, he's right. When I listen to his talk, he always talks about think big. Mm -hmm. And when we said, let's write a book together, I had to think big. And that's what I had. It was beyond uh, reality at that moment. So I, I would thank him for you know, sharing his celebrity with me. Beyond reality television. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what has your experience been working together on this book? Well, I just love this man, and his wife, Kim, is amazing. And she's done her own book and books, and they're also really good. In fact, I read it and endorsed it. So I wouldn't endorse it unless I felt the same way. And it's just become a very special relationship. And it's a very easy relationship. It's not like, oh, gee, it's difficult. or It's just a very easy relationship. We think the same way. We have the same ideas, and we love education, and we want to educate people and help people. I think more than anything else, Robert wants to help people, and so do I. Okay, you both come from very different backgrounds. Mr. Trump, you're from the financial capital of the world, New York. Mr. Kiyosaki, you're from the laid back, hang in there, you know. He's um, not so laid back. Okay. No, he's not, but Trust he was me. from a place that was laid back. and. So how did you guys come together from such different backgrounds? You, you came from not so much money. You came from some money, you know, um, and yet you're together. I can answer that question. As a, I think the blessing in my life was I, I, in 1965, I left a sleepy little sugar plantation town and went to school in New York. And that was the hardest two years of my life because, as you said, I was so lazy, so laid back. And New York, they spit you out, right? I mean, that is not a place that you want to be lazy in. But after, t after the second year, I started to love New York City. And that's why I think you know, we see eye to eye on many things today is because New York really changed me. I could never go back to Hawaii again. You know, it was, it, New York is the most special place on earth. That's, I think that's the answer. It's, it's the, it is the financial capital of the world. Well, New York City has a great energy. And a lot of people are energized by coming to New York. They get off a plane, and they're not so great. And, all of a sudden, they become these energetic people. So and it does have an amazing influence on people, as it did with Robert. Yeah. Now, Robert's coming to New York, and I'm going to Hawaii because I'm <laughs> going to build a big building in Honolulu. But uh, it's, it's, New York is a great place. Mr. Trump, are you afraid of failing? I'm not afraid of failing. I, you know, life, you look and you turn on the newscasts every night, and you see thousands of people killed and in earthquakes and tsunamis and hurricanes and all of the problems and wars and wars that we shouldn't even be in and lots of different things. And when you see all of the problems in the world, there's no, what is there to be afraid of? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. You know, to a certain extent, it all doesn't matter. I have, my answer to that is I think what we have in common also is we both went to military schools. Yeah. And military school is about discipline, about being bigger, about following orders, about leading. But what else we have in common is that we both failed. And you know, he lost nearly a billion. I lost a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> but it was paper. And, yeah, and, and I lost only, only, only lost a million. And I think what makes us better is when you wrote your book, The Art of the Deal, I, I was so impressed. But when you wrote The Art of the Comeback, and what it meant to come back from being down so far. And most people are terrified of losing a hundred dollars and here you're down a billion. Billions. And, and, and you come back. And I think that's what, what we have in common is once you've faced <laughs> that, that much what everybody's afraid of. Mm -hmm. You're not as afraid anymore. I, I think that's really the difference. And for me personally, it was the best education I could have gotten was to find out where I made all my mistakes and rebuild my company. You wouldn't want to do it again, but no. it was a great education. But, was, yeah. but when I read Art of the Comeback, I said, this is a big man. Mm -hmm. That's when my respect for him grew, because Art of the Deal 
you know, he's telling about his successes. But when he wrote Art of the Comeback, that's when you grew in my, you know, uh, my eyes, is because most people will not admit their mistakes. Well, Donald and I were very blessed that we both had rich dads. You know, my best friend's father was my rich dad. And financial education is more important than ever before. So I, I thank you for viewing this, and I wish you all the best of luck.